Pregnant women have some very important decisions in the days and the weeks and months leading up to their due date, like where will you deliver your baby and will you have an epidural? In tonight's Baby Your Baby report, Christina Flores has a look at what you should do to prepare for the birth of your baby. Right now, I'm starting to investigate my options and thinking about what I want to do. Ashley Sorensen is pregnant with her third child, and she admits the pregnancy has not been easy. I'm having two kids at home, I'm just really tired, just running around crazy. Ashley still has a few months before the baby is due, but she is already preparing for childbirth. I'm with my second. I tried to go unmedicated just to see. I wasn't, I wasn't scared, and so I tried to go a little bit longer and then kind of threw in the towel when I hit about a seven. <laughs> Um, this time I want to prepare so I can make it. Well, preparing for childbirth is a really personal decision. Angela Anderson is a certified nurse midwife at Intermountain Medical Center. She says women need to mentally begin to prepare for childbirth early in pregnancy. We always encourage classes. We think those are very, very helpful. There's a lot of reading material that can um, help people prepare, and especially in those people who are planning an unmedicated birth. If you are hoping for an unmedicated birth, then Angela says you should research different birthing methods. If you're someone that tends to pull in and kind of have an inner focus when things are painful or difficult, hypnobirthing is probably really going to make sense to you. If you're someone who really leans on your partner and you really look to them for support, uh, then Bradley method is probably going to be a better technique. Women should also try to stay active during the duration of their pregnancy. The recommendation, assuming that you're healthy and you don't have any medical complications during your pregnancy, is a minimum of 150 minutes of exercise per week. Now the kinds of exercise you do obviously changes from early pregnancy to the end of pregnancy. And most importantly, if you have questions, be sure to talk to your health care provider. Christina Flores, 2 News. If you're pregnant or you're even thinking about becoming pregnant, you should be taking a prenatal vitamin every single day. Prenatal vitamins have folic acid, and that can reduce the risk of birth defects. For more information, go to our website at KUTV.com and then click on the Baby Your Baby link.